Hello, 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 hello. Uh, welcome to the Tell the Truth podcast. It's going down today. Yeah, I'm your host, Chi-Town Neil. Got the laptop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This dude to my left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This it's dude. going down. Yeah, this dude. Yeah, this dude. <laughs> <laughs> the disrespect has already started. It's about to be a very disrespectful show. Yeah, this dude. I'm going to put my, my Superman glasses on. This dude to my left, man. He go by his name. You know, he got a couple of names, man. You know, when he cooking for me and the family, you know, I like to call him, you know, Uncle Billy. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. When he gambling, winning all the money, and his gambling name is Billy Woo Woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when we in studio, I call him BTB. What's that for? Bowtie Bill. Man, we got Bowtie Bill in the building, man. We about Sir. to get heated. But before we get started with the shenanigans, we got to get a shout out to these boys in North Dallas, man. Maximize your potential studio, man. Today's going to be a wild show. We're going to talk about them Pittsburgh Steelers. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. How many wins they're going to get, quarterback, AFC North. But before we get started, BTB, tell the people what they need, baby. Yes, sir, man. Thank you for everything that you're doing for us. Your likes, you know, and tell everybody about us. Yeah. Tell the Truth Podcast, Tell the Truth 23. Uh, we appreciate everything that you're doing. Uh, tell your family members and friends the one you like as well as the one you dislike. You know, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and as well, you know, continue doing everything. We appreciate everything that you do. Yeah, yeah, Billy. Uh, Bowtie Bill, that was on the money. Yes, sir. Uh, let me say this right off the bat, man. Um, you can see me and Bowtie Bill, we got our legs out. It's hot. It's hot down here in Dallas, 106 degrees. And so today we plan on um, turning the heat up even more about these questions. You know what I mean? And so, Bowtie Bill, we're going to get right to you. First, we're going to do an overall little review on the entire AFC North. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to, I want you to give me a breakdown on just your team, the Pittsburgh sure. Steelers. Now, I'm going to ask you the question. Okay. All right. I'm going to ask you, to me, what is the biggest wild card situation? Meaning, if this happened, this is how the, conf- the division can go. Or if this happened, the division might go to it. What's the biggest wild card in your, in your division? If you want to know what I mean, I can tell you my wild card, and I'll explain to you why later. To me, the biggest wild card in the AFC North is Joe Burrow. Now, go ahead. What do you think the biggest wild card, and what do you expect out of your division, man? Like far as placement, first, second, third, and fourth. Sure. The biggest wild card. Oh, hold on, Billy. Hold on. What are we doing, man? We wrong for this. Oh. <laughs> My mistake. Hold on one sec. Hold on yeah, one yeah, sec. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hold on one sec. Woo, we on that hen baby. That hen dog. Hen. Yeah, yeah, we on that hen dog. We on that hen dog. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, now we got our mind right. Now we doing it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the, the biggest, biggest wild card? Talk to me, brother. Yeah. Sure. The biggest wild card is Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore hmm. Ravens. They okay. got Derrick Henry. Mm-hmm. And so because with that, with the running game, that they was like number one, number two last year in the running game. Facts. Facts. And now uh, their defense has taken a hit because we got a couple of their players, Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay. So we got you... one of their middle linebackers. So the wild card mm-hmm. is Lamar Jackson. All right. So all right. So you think the wild card is Lamar Jackson. I can yes. see kind of like where you're going with that when you say he's a wild card. So let's say Lamar Jackson ball out, you think they can win the division? Yes. And I say, are you saying if he gets hurt or if he plays bad? I don't think Lamar going to play bad. Are you no, telling he's he gets not. hurt? Or are you, what are you trying to say? What? No, no, no. The wild card is 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 – them winning the division as long as they play well up to their potential. Yeah, see, when I think so, about wild card, I think about one player that can change the whole doggone division. But you got a right to think that. So you look, you can sit in the whole Baltimore Raven as a possible wild card. Like, you don't know well, what. Well, Lamar Jackson's leading that, but yes, okay. right. So now we go to, you You, you ask the question, now how are they going to rank in the divisions? One, right. two, three, Who you got four. coming in first? Who coming in second? AFC North. Who coming in third? Who coming in fourth? And why, 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 why? And why, 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 why? <laughs> and tell me why, 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 why? Tell me why, 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 right. why, why, why? Right. So I got uh, the Baltimore. I'm a Steelers fan. <laughs> I have the Baltimore Ravens number one. Okay. Cincinnati Bengals number two. Okay. Pittsburgh number three. Cleveland okay. number four. 
All right, you know, I can go with that. I can go with that. Are you? Uh, let me ask you this though. Sure. If you had to rank the defense next year for the AFC North, Pittsburgh number one. P- mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pittsburgh number one. I like your front seven, but go ahead. Who's number yeah. two? Who's number two? Baltimore. Cleveland number three. Cincinnati number four. All right, so to me, the wild card in that division when it comes to defense, to me the wild card is um, actually Baltimore's defense. Now, now hear me out. I know that sounds crazy because Baltimore defense was pretty good last year. I know that sounds nuts, but just hear me out on where I'm going with this. Baltimore lost a lot of people. They lost Queen, didn't they? They lost Queen, the linebacker. He's with us. Okay, so okay, y'all got him. Oh, no one he, okay, no one. Deshaun okay, Elliott. Okay, no one he like, okay, Deshaun okay. Elliott, who's a Longhorn, is with us too. Okay, I, I knew they had lost some guys, you know, and they still got the good free safety from Notre Dame. <clears throat> so whenever he gets a chance to brag about Texas players, I'm gonna brag about Notre Dame players. I know y'all be like, "Hi, the heck, that boy is a Notre Dame fan," but I've touched on this already on previous podcasts, so I don't want the smoke. Anyway, so Joe, you got Midwest me. fan over here, guys. <laughs> Guilty, guilty, guilty. But anyway, <laughs> no. So, all right. So, you thinking y'all got the best defense? Yes. All right. Okay. I just never. You know how I feel. I know you get tired of me saying this, but I just feel like y'all still play too much, too much zone. Uh, I like his safety. What's his name? Fitzpatrick. Whatever case well, name. I, yeah, I like him. Cleveland got a good ass defense too, though. Both top of you. I'm thinking about the damage they did last year. Yeah, they're gonna be third. Yeah, yeah. I almost, although they have Miles Garrett, they're kind of soft in the middle. They got a strong secondary, but they soft in the middle. The teeth I, of their defense, mm-hmm. the linebackers, they're mm-hmm. a little soft. I agree with you on that, but I think they secondary still yeah, their secondary might be it's gonna be a little bit better than you you guys. But what I will say this, I go ahead. Okay, so we got Ryan Watts, a, okay. a rookie, okay, from University of Texas. Okay, Porter Jr. What round he come in? We talked about this before. Okay, he came in fifth round, right? Went fifth round Ryan for a reason. But go ahead. Okay, yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Mm-hmm. I mean, because you had Tom Brady coming in sixth round. You had you had uh, uh, we had some people coming in fifth and sixth rounds, right? Antonio Brown was a sixth rounder, right? Mike Wallace was a fifth rounder. Right, so we we've had some people coming in fifth and sixth rounds that balled out. No, that's true. But I'm gonna tell you this because though, it's all about value in football. That's true. But you don't find too many um, you don't find too many cornerbacks in after the first four rounds. Chris Harris Jr. wasn't even drafted. I see. And who played who played for Denver Broncos. Mm-hmm. For nine years, yeah, that's a one-off, Billy. You don't, I don't. Okay, you can throw okay, out them one out, okay, okay, but I'm you're not going to find too many <laughs> cornerbacks. Okay. Safety, okay. yes. Linebacker, yes. You even can find defensive tackle. Most cornerbacks that ball out, they usually go in the first three rounds. But I'm not saying this kid okay. won't be good. I'm not trying to boo boo on him. I'm just saying cornerback is one of them rare positions that you can go look it up. Seventy-five percent of them that wind up having a five-year career, whatever the case might be, they're going in the first three rounds. Possibly maybe four. It's just something about that position. It's safety, you can get a safety in the fourth, fifth, sixth round and the athlete wind up starting for five, six. I'm not going to argue that. Yeah, safety. But what I will say is this, breaking down your division, and this might surprise you, I do think the best two defense this year in the AFC North, I think it's going to come down between Cleveland and actually Pittsburgh Steelers. You didn't even know I was going to say that. So I was just wondering roughly your fellas. Um, Baltimore defense is the wild card for me, defensive-wise. I just don't know what to expect from them defense. Yeah, they were the best last year in that division, you know, but they lost some lot, a lot of guys. Uh, you know, you got Roquan coming back at Chicago Bears. I'm always going to cheer for him. Right. A little bias about that. I'm always going to cheer for him. But they did lose a lot of guys. I'm yes. really eager. So they they defense is still like the one defense that I can't put my finger on. I don't know if they're going to be great, good, or average. I don't think they're going to suck, but I just can't. They're my, the wild card. Yeah, that's, they're my wild card defensive-wise. Now, offensive-wise, my wild card is definitely Cincinnati Bengals. Now, this is what I got. I got Cincinnati winning the division. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I should have got close up on that. Yeah, and, t- and tell me why. Yeah, I got Cincinnati winning. You, you know me. You know me. I love me some Joe Burrows. You know Joe is he Cruz. Be healthy? That, that, that's why I said 
he's the wild card. If Joe plays 14 games, they're winning the division. Now, the key question is what you just asked, can he stay healthy? I will not bet you on that. <laughs> I'm not putting no money on it that he will play more than 13 games. I am just clarifying that if he plays 13 games, I feel like Cincinnati will win the division, even with possibly the third or worst division defense, defense in that division. I just believe in Joe. You know, my man got his money, the other wide receiver, so he's feeling good. He's feeling froggy, so he got extra springs in his legs. Uh, Higgins, what's his name? He got his money, you know, Chase got his money, everybody getting paid, so, you know, everybody going to be, they've had a nice little kumbaya, everybody feeling good over there, so offense going to be balling, defensive-wise, you know, I like some of the young things they've done, it might be another year away from their defense really taking off, they got a very young defense, but if, even take that into consideration, the defense, if Joe Burrows plays 14 games, I believe they're going to win the division, Okay. Number two, believe it or not, I think that <laughs> this is tough for me right here. I'm listening. I really think second place is going to be a dogfight between the Baltimore Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers. I really, I don't think Baltimore is that much better than y'all this year. I, I don't think so. They lost a lot of people. And you know how I feel about Tomlin. Every year, Tom is going to at least get you nine wins. Cleveland, to me, is a wild card team. Man, listen, I don't know. I tell you about. I Cleveland. don't know what Deshaun Watson is going to do. <laughs> Go ahead, you got know. the floor. You got the floor. I'm going to talk about Deshaun I don't, Watson. I don't know what Deshaun Watson is going to do. But for the last two years, obviously, the AFC North has been the strongest division in football. Yes, that's true. Not this year, though. Gonna be NFC North. But go ahead. We'll talk about that later. I'll just talk to you. We're talking to you. Don't fuck. Don't take the bait, dog. <laughs> Come on. Take, last two years, you're right. It has been, it has been the oh, AFC you North. Give me Gator bait over yeah, there. Yeah, give me Gator, Gator bait, bait right you there. You always jump for it. You give me Gator bait. But what were you about to hey, say about Deshaun? I want, let's get back man, to Deshaun Watson. AFC North, yes. Now, I want you to touch on that. I want to I want to rebuttal that. But go ahead. In the event that Deshaun Watson played like he did his last year in Houston, man, he's going to throw a monkey wrench. In the AFC North. Okay. For real. Because they got to run the game because Nick Chubb is coming back. Because, you know, remember he got injured last year. He's coming back with a running game. They okay. have a good tight end. They have a good wide receiving core and a good defense. Can I ask you a question? This is, Talk to him. Okay, you know me. I'm trying not to cut you off over here laughing. Let me ask you this then, <clears throat> Mr. Uh, Deshaun Watson. Uh who do you trust more, Deshaun Watson having a bounce back season next year, or Joe Burrow staying healthy? Deshaun Watson having a bit, uh, a bounce back year, and I trust Joe Burrow staying healthy. So that's kind of where we deserve decide. I'm, the, hey, you know, you know the old saying, you know. I'm gonna tell you why. I probably because I probably should sing this song because this man in jail. But when a woman fed up. <laughs> There ain't nothing you can do about it. Ain't nothing you can do about it. When Neil's fed up, <laughs> it ain't nothing. I'm done with Deshaun Washington. Seriously? I wash, yeah, I'm done. I washed my hands. Joe over. Burrow had a, okay. a, a lower extremity okay. injury, mm -hmm. a knee injury. Mm -hmm. He had a wrist injury. Okay. So that tells me that this guy is injury prone regardless whether if it it's lower or upper body. Okay, and since Deshaun came back, he's been injury prone. He had a hurt shoulder. Okay. He, he had his shoulder injured. Here's the difference, though. Both of them it's, had injuries next year, last year. And I don't want to cheer for Deshaun to have injuries for me to be right about this. And I never do that. Anyway, the point I'm trying to say is that when both parties are healthy the last two years, Burroughs look better. So even if Deshaun Watson don't get hurt, I just – he's not been the same since he Houston. took a year and a half, year and a half off. I don't think nothing's in his head. I just think the rush, whatever. And at first, I was like, oh, my God, Cleveland offensive play calling is, is trash. And I don't know about these receivers and none of this stuff. And then he gets hurt, and then Joe Flacco bring his old ass in, the same players, same same play calling, and they slinging the ball Comeback all the field. Comeback player of the year. Dropping not, – not, he wasn't – Joe Flacco was not dropping 28. He wasn't dropping that at five. That fool was dropping 40. 
40 pieces on people. So I'm like, well, this is the same player. So Deshaun didn't look like that when he was starting. And I understand he did get hurt around week four or five, but my first four games of the season, he looked, I think he had one game, he looked pretty good. But he wasn't looking like that. So you, my point is, it wasn't the Cleveland Browns offense, it wasn't the play calling. Joe Flacco bring his old ass and excuse my language. No disrespect to Joe, but that's, it is what it is. Come back play of the year. Dude came in looking like Joe Montana. Yeah. You know, so when I saw that, it made me kind of. That let you know about Cleveland's team. No, Cleveland has a good team. The reason why I'm not taking Cleveland this series is because of Watson. Okay. Like, I'm not even. I got Cleveland coming last in that division. Man, you know what? Now, here's the funny thing about it. If Joe Flacco, if Joe, if Joe Burrow don't play 14 games, then I can see Cincinnati coming in last again good too. That's why when I first started, I said the biggest wild card in that whole division Joe is Joe Burrow. Burrow. That, Joe Burrow changes that whole division probably more than any other starting quarterback in in the in the in the in the, in the league. Because some people can say, well, Neil, if uh if um Russell Wilson. Uh, if, if um my man in Kansas City, if, if badass yellow boy Mahomes get hurt, then Kansas City probably won't win the division. Yeah, that's true. The difference with this statement I'm saying is that Joe Burrows can be healthy and it's still a good chance that Cincinnati might not still win the division. That's why I think it's you know, it's so complex in that division. They could still have a healthy Joe Burrow and Cleveland not win the division, even though I'm picking them too. But if he does not play, they have no chance in him. Right. They have no chance in hell. Not at all. Right, right, right. And and, and so uh followers and listeners, viewers, thank you for everything. Yes, sir. And we want to just let you know that the quarterback position, right, is 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 the most important position in all of four of the major sports in North America sports. I know we have a lot the of people that, that that watches us. They might say, Well, why is Uncle Bob's bow tie bill saying that? For you gurus, you guys, you guys know that. But there's some people do not know this. So Billy Flynn is breaking down how important the quarterback position is. Go exactly. ahead. Exactly. Yeah. So we've yet to bring up Russell Wilson. Okay. So the question was the wild card. Mm-hmm. All, all of them are wild cards of quarterbacks. Lamar yeah. Jackson is a wild card. Yeah. Uh, Joe Burr is a wild card. Deshaun Watson is a wild card. Russell Wilson is a wild card. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Who's is most? Which wild card is the most wild card for for lack of terminology? I said Lamar Jackson. He said Joe Burrow. It's definitely Joe. But Burrow. all of them. But all of them are wild cards because Pittsburgh. We are in a situation scenario to where we got Justin Fields, Russell Wilson. Who's gonna start? Who's not gonna start? Who's gonna back up? Is Russell Wilson gonna play all seventeen games? Mm-hmm. Is 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 Justin Fields gonna get on the field? Is he gonna be like Slash uh uh back in the day? Right? Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. Hopefully not, because right. he playing the quarterback position. Right. So there are a lot of wild cards in the AFC North. Right. Which by the, the biggest, way the biggest which by the is, way, which by the way, is the toughest division in all of uh, right. NFL football. I let you talk, and the more you just talk, the more you made my point, and the more I realized I know more than you. You don't know shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just actually, the more you was talking like God. He's making my point. It's by far. That's not you broke all that down, and you right about the quarterback position. It's by far Burroughs because the one thing that you fail to realize is that if Baltimore quarterback gets hurt, it got Stokely. If Russell gets hurt, y'all got Fields. If Cincinnati quarterback got hurt, I can't think of the boy's name, but he came in last year and balled out too. Right, they got. Uh, yeah, but yeah. and then now uh, and the Cleveland quarterback get hurt. Hey, they got some. The bigger drop off is the Burrow. So Burrow is the biggest drop off out of all those teams. The other teams have better backups than what Cincinnati got. The the biggest drop off by far. Okay, and the difference also is the only team that could possibly. Give Baltimore smoke if Baltimore is hitting on all. If, if Baltimore comes in with and they saw all these changes they made on defense, let's say they do somehow come back clicking like last year defensive wise. I think the offense will. 
Defensive-wise, because I'm not questioning Baltimore's offense. They got Henry. I think Baltimore's offense is going to be amazing this year. Mark Andrews. I'm questioning their defense this year. I think it's going to be a step back on the defense. But let's say their defense come back clicking. There's only one team that I feel can, then can beat Baltimore if they're clicking on all cylinders, and that's Cincinnati. That's why I said Burrow is the biggest wild card. Like, I, I maybe I like Lamar, but this kind of goes back to what I said last year when we were talking about the whole Kansas City thing. When everybody talking about, oh, this team, this team, this team, what I tell you, I said, if it ain't Joe Burrow or if it ain't Sunshine, ain't nobody beating Mahomes. So that should kind of tell you how I view Burroughs. I don't think I don't think Lamar is better than Burroughs. That's one thing. So maybe that might be what the disconnect is between me and you. I don't think he's better than uh, well, Lamar. Well, he just won MVP he for did. the second time. He can win it all he wants. You know what I mean? But man. I know if I need to – all I know and is by that, the way, Pittsburgh has beaten Baltimore mm-hmm. multiple times in the last four yeah. years. But if you ask me, with two minutes left, no timeouts, I got to go 80 yards, who do I trust more? It's not even close. I'm taking Joe Burrows over Lamar because Le- 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 Joe, Mo- Joe Burrow is more clutch. How many big-time games have Lamar lost in the playoff? And I told everybody he was going to lose that game to Kansas City. I told everybody two months before that game started, uh, the reason I don't trust Baltimore because I can see Lamar trying to do too much and hold the ball too long, get stripped, fumble. And I can see Lamar throwing a pick. Well, God dog, he did both. You want to know why? Because I'm the shy guy. And I know what I'm talking about. I know more than you, Billy. I'm the shy guy. You know I'm the shy guy. <laughs> but I did call it, Bowtie Bill. I did call it. Um, two months before they played that game, I said, if Lamar plays Kansas City, they ain't winning. And this is what Lamar going to do. And he did both. On but, his pocket. Oh, yeah, that. So I was with you. So I'm the we, one who told you that Kansas City was going to win Super Bowl. Yeah, Bowls. but I'm saying I broke down how Lamar was going to lose the game for him, and exactly. it happened. You know. Right. So my point is that that's why I say Burrow because I just think Burrow is the most important player in the entire AFC North. That's just me, and I respect your opinion. That's why I got my wild card. But what we're about to do now is we're about to talk about them Steelers. Let me see. I got everything set up for bow tie bill. We about to go through the Steelers. Uh, um, Bowtie Bill, we putting Bowtie Bill on the hot seat. <laughs> we going game by game, Bowtie Bill. You ready? We can go game by game. We going game by game. I tried to get a bigger one for you. Uh, we going to get game by game. I'm about to get this thing for a Bowtie Bill. Uh, um, on. By the way, I'm going to the game on the 25th. Uh, who they play on the 25th? Let me get, let me on, get to... on 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 DC on 25th. Oh, on there it is. Day. Okay, I got you. You, I got you. Yeah, on DC uh, on 25th, we playing Kansas City. That's an L. Boom. Ooh, that's an L? All Man, right, Bo-tie in the Bill. last three games, Patrick oh. Mahomes has thrown 14 touchdowns and one interception. All right, here we go, Bowtie Bill. So, so that's Bow. an L. All right, here we go, Bowtie Bill. Uh-huh. First game of the season. Y'all got excuse We got the preseason up here, too, but it's the one right here. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm circling. Y'all got it. Atlanta Falcons, 12 o'clock game in Atlanta. Bowtie Bill, what y'all going to do? That's a win? Uh-huh. Okay, because y'all playing the NLC n- n- NLC team, I'll be cheering for you. You know why I say that. I'll break it down to the viewers sure. later. Whenever the ALC play the NLC, I cheer for the ALC. All right. All right. We're going to beat the Chargers. All right, so that's game number one. Game number two, what's got here? Y'all got the uh, – no, the next is – because it's going left to right. Next, okay. y'all play Denver Broncos gonna in Denver. Them. You gonna beat them? Yeah, we got. Right. You don't. Well, you don't. You ain't worry about the coach. Oh, yeah, they don't no. got a quarterback. They got. They got. Some, Who's they starting quarterback? Oh, okay, I can't think of the kid. You know uh, no, they ain't got one. They got one, but he's yeah, not. Yeah. I can't they think got his name right now. Yeah. They got yeah, Bo Nix. Yeah. Yeah. Bo Nix. Uh, yeah, y'all Stidham. defense. Y'all. Y'all yeah. might come. You know what? Bo Tabu. Y'all and the one who got drafted by the uh, uh, New York Jets. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zach Smith. Right. Yeah, you got Zach Smith. Uh huh. I think Zach so, yeah. might get and coached up pretty good, but he might so get coached up. We got him. Yeah, I think y'all are beating. Oh, rookie, definitely. right, right, yeah. right. Uh-huh. So yeah, y'all coming out two and zero. Oh, God, dog, nah, both type. Uh-huh. Okay, what's up here? Chargers. Oh my God, and that's y'all first game of the season at the crib, home opener. Yes, we got the Chargers three and zero. Oh. Billy, y'all coming out? We coming out three and zero. Oh. I ain't see the schedule, man. Y'all might just win this damn division. <laughs> 
no, no, no. Okay, no, get no. tougher. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm like, wait, wait a minute. Wait till we get down the game. I'm like, well, I'm no, like where yeah, the dogs yeah, at? Yeah, I'm yeah. like, where the big boys at? Okay, no, no, okay. No, no, no. Yeah, we 10, dog. Okay, okay. It's going to change. It's going to change. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Let's get back to it. I'm sitting like, wait a minute. This looking real. I'm about to say, this looking real good right now, Bowtie Bill. Like, y'all looking real good. Like, dang. Yeah, we look real good. All right, let's get back to it. All right, game four. All right, Bowtie Bill. I got you, big bro. All right, y'all going to the Colts, Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, 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 that's a win. Man, y'all can't start off 4 0, man. I just got to slap y'all with a loss right there just because, man. Uh -huh. The then Colts, got, man, and, and then the, the Colts, man. Look, they were 9 and 8 last year yeah, with and, a backup and, quarterback. And Richardson, when, they, and that, when Richardson was, he was healthy, balling out. I think it was like 2 and 1 or 3 and 1 when, he was, when Richardson was started. Yeah, so, it was all about hurt, he said, right. so you think y'all going to win that one? Yes. All right, both Yo, sides. we've always been the coach. I can't, I cannot. After pay men. I cannot allow you guys. <laughs> guys are like a hater. <laughs> We're looking at the schedule. I can't see y'all going for it. Well, Russell or Justin Fields, I take either one of them over. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. I'm giving y'all Talk to me. This Tell the truth. Yes, yeah, name of the podcast. You right. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I cannot give y'all four and zero. Oh. This don't even sound right, right. man. It's a road game. It's your, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. Because it's your third road game in the first four games of the season. I'm gonna have to give you an L, man. Just because of the schedule. I'm gonna get. It. I'm gonna chalk it up as a schedule loss. I'm sorry, both of okay. you. I can't give you. Th okay. Three. you that, game that's y'all one of y'all first three road games in a row. So I got y'all three and run. You got four. And we one. got them, coach. Game five. Uh, we got them. Uh, next, uh, oh God, Cowboys! You said, <laughs> oh, and that's my birthday weekend. So you know y'all better win. That's my birthday weekend. Ooh, I said I don't count my fuck Cowboy fan. You know y'all better win. Yeah, October six, coach. my birthday right. to film. Game six. No, no, that's October. Yeah, so that game is in Pittsburgh. I think y'all yes. will win too. I got bad uh -huh. news for the Cowboys, but people say we hate. We don't care. But uh, four one Steelers for for me. You got them five and zero. Oh. Okay, then y'all got the Raiders and mm. the, and the Raiders. That's a nail. That's a nail. That's a nail. Okay. Okay. We just cannot beat the Raiders. Okay, and that game is in Vegas, so you yeah, are. We just cannot beat the Raiders. Okay, I got I got y'all losing them too because I just Four like two. I got five and one. I think that's gonna be a very tough game. But just one thing about you, son of a gun, and every time y'all go out west, y'all do get a lot of support. But I got four and two. You got five and one. Next, coming home, night game. Woo wee! Yeah, it's a Sunday night game too, and. Pittsburgh, oh, Aaron Rodgers, if he's healthy, coming to see y'all. What you got? Mm -hmm. An L. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking an L, too. I got we a funny. Be, we cannot beat Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, I got a funny feeling. We beat him one time. Mm -hmm. Right? We beat him one time in Pittsburgh. Yeah. But, no, that's an L. I got a sneaky say, um, suspicion that I think if Aaron Rodgers stay healthy, I got a funny feeling the Jets going to be good this year. I do too. Yeah, I think they're gonna be good this year. He may be MVP if if he's healthy and good. He might be going for MVP. Yeah, I got a real. With him. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna get off track. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I'm not gonna get off track. Yeah. This is not my show. Either this is our him, show. <laughs> either 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 Aaron Rodgers or Josh Allen gonna win MVP. Okay, mm. let's finish. Let's finish. All right. So cool. <laughs> So that means now I got them at four and three. You got them at five and two. Right. And going down next. Keep going. Y'all next game. Y'all play the Giants at home. We got them. That's y'all got two home games in a row at, at night, and that's a Monday night game. Y'all gonna yeah, blast their ass. Yeah, yeah, we got them. They, yeah, y'all got y'all got, got yeah, yeah, y'all got that. Six and two. Oh, I right. put it on the screen. My fault. Yeah, y'all got them. Yeah, y'all got them right. It's a night game. A seven o'clock Monday night. Billy six got and two, six five and three. three. I got five and three. Okay, next y'all going to Washington in Washington. It's a 12 o'clock game, short week. Oh, no, oh y'all coming off a bye, Billy. Yeah, y'all coming off a bye, my boy. Yeah, that's a win for y'all. That's a win for y'all. I got y'all okay. winning. So I got y'all that with uh 72. I got 6 and 3. You got 72. All right. All right. Damn, Pittsburgh, y'all look pretty good. Damn, okay. All right, here we go. All right, so that's when it's about to get real. All right, let's see what we got here. Ba bam Uh-oh. Lamar. Baltimore coming to y'all city. All right. Mm-hmm. We'll beat them at home. So okay. I'm 82. I got seven three. I, I, how you know I'm gonna say y'all gonna win? Okay, we got them at home. Yeah, I, I was gonna say that. I'm just mess with you. Okay, so you got them uh, 82. I got them 73. I think y'all are gonna split. So y'all will win this one. 
That's because of that home. The next one, y'all playing Cleveland. Another home game. Now, uh uh-uh, y'all on the road on that one, baby. Y'all are on the road. Right before Thanksgiving, y'all stomach's going to be full game in Cleveland. Yeah, I think yeah, that's, that, an L. that's an L. That's an L. Y'all thinking uh-huh. about Thanksgiving and all that type of stuff. Candy yams, all that type of bull uh-huh. crap popping off. Right. So, y'all, I got y'all up. Was, y'all, I got y'all seven and four now. Y'all uh-huh. eight and three. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'd say that's only you only got y'all down for three losses so take, far. We're going to take the next L. Okay. Then Cincinnati and there, so you got y'all losing there. That's yeah. Y'all go eight and four. I got y'all seven and five. Slide on over. This is going to be key for y'all, man. We're going to win that one. You got to, because I'm just peeping y'all yeah, schedule. Got, yeah, yeah, y'all playing brand, four division brand. games in a row. In a row. Y'all saw how the Bears schedule look. So I got y'all 7-5 going into this game. Y'all 8-4. I you, got th- it. you think y'all going to win this one? Uh-huh. All right, so now y'all 9-4. Yeah, here we go. I say y'all win that one at home, so that's 8-5. So you 9-4, I got 8-5. Next one, all oh, yeah. them Eagles in Philly. That's a layer. That's an L, dog. I'm sorry. That game mm-hmm. is in Philly. I got y'all now seven and six. What you what you got? You were eight and four. What you got? After no, this you, game? Mean, you you know no. Y'all was seven and five. Now I'm, I got y'all losing this. Now y'all seven and six. What you got? You eight and four right now coming into this game. Okay, eight uh, eight. Mm. <laughs> eight and five. Mm, you, you eight and five. Okay, how about this? I think y'all gonna lose that one. Three twenty five game in Philly. That then that's a loss. So you got eight and five. Got seven and six. Next. Baltimore in Baltimore, I got y'all eight losing in Baltimore. I got no, y'all. I, now I got we, we, we yeah. I got y'all seven and seven now. Eight and six coming down. Oh Lord, you got that badass yellow boy coming to Pittsburgh <laughs> the day after Thanksgiving. You already that's know ace. that's an that's L. Eight and seven. I got y'all. Se- I got that's y'all. Deal, yeah, I got y'all seven. <laughs> <laughs> got digging it up. All right, the last game of the season. All right, Cincinnati. We gonna win that one at home. All right, so. So somewhere, so you got I got nine, I got nine, nine and eight. eight, and I got eight and nine, and dude, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. It's uh, you you just getting all getting serious. Billy got nine wins, I got eight wins for him. You guys, we have we're gonna do a podcast about the Bears next. You guys' schedule is scary, scary similar. When it gets when it gets it's, when it gets late in the season, I was about to say, hold on, let me let me. I'm gonna give it to you. I promise you. Right. You guys' schedule is scary, scary, very similar to the Bears. You guys do not play any division games, none until week, week ten, and the Bears don't play any division game until week eleven. It's like back heavy, four in a row, dog. I thought we had the – you guys, let me go back. Put the, we put have the, the, we have the number one, number two strong uh, – in terms of strength of schedule, uh-huh. we rank either number one or number two. Dude, you guys do not play a division game. And I did hear what you said, number one, number two. You guys don't play your first division game until November 17th. And we play four in a row. Yeah. That is really, really late. So what that means to me is – I don't know the other team in your division, but – Division games are always kind of hectic, and I kind of like the fact they backlogged it, but I think they should have a rule that everybody has to play at least one division game in their first eight because them division games, they hitting harder, and you, your body got to recover. Let me see. Do y'all got any um, any buys or 10-day stretch? You know a game yeah, on Thursday? No, y'all got no buy here, bow tie yeah, bill? Let me see. Hold on. Let me look, man. In October. You got a game on the seventeenth. The one let me I'll put the schedule up so the fans can see. The one on the seventeenth, one on the twenty first. Do you play two division games, man, within four days, bro? Well, prior to that. No, I'm talking about during this stretch, do you have oh, a buy? No, 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 no. no, I'm, saying, no, you need no to, I'm talking about during this stretch. You need no, to no, have no, a buy. No, 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 we ain't got no buy. We yeah. already had our buy. I'm just saying, that's messed up. Hold on. So you got four days, bop. You got Kyle Semi buy after this game on the Thursday with the uh Pittsburgh. I mean with the Browns. And then you play Bengals ten days later. Then double back, boom, seven days later, Raiders. Steelers. I mean, I mean Browns. Right. So if you're playing, geez, three division games within 21 days, bro. That's I mean, that's four. four. The four. Ravens. That's that's tough. And then once you come, then, once, then once you finally get out of this, you got to go see the Eagles. And then after that, you got to go see Pittsburgh. And then you got to go see, God, man, that that. And then dude, the Chiefs. God, man. That, yeah, 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 yeah. Them last, them last, <laughs> <laughs> them last eight games, them last seven games, Doc. I'm going to say this. <laughs> I'm going to say this. Man, hey. 
Only reason why I would not count y'all to come out of that with a winning record. I got y'all eight and nine. But one thing, you already know how Mike, I feel. Mike Tomlin I said, never had a losing record. I said eight and nine. I'm changing it. I'm changing it to nine and eight because Mike Tomlin is not gonna have a losing season. He gonna. Mm-hmm. I don't give a crap. That dude got bozo at quarterback. He gonna find a way to win some games. So we got nine and eight. Bill Tye, Bill, Tye Bill got nine and eight. All right, Bill Tye Bill. We may even go ten and seven. All right, Pittsburgh going to playoff? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. All right. Will Pittsburgh win a game? Yes or no? Depending on who we play. I got this. Depending on who we play, man. We need to win a game. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. Okay. I'm going to say yes. I got Pittsburgh winning nine games, not going to the playoff. I feel like they're going to be on the outside looking in. Uh, Because of Cincinnati and Baltimore? because Because of Cincinnati. Now, if Joe Burrows does not get healthy, then Cincinnati, I mean, then Pittsburgh can might float up to 10 wins and they're going to make the playoff. I also think that I got two wild cards in the ALC that I can't put my thumb on. I don't know how good they're going to be. And I think they're going to push you guys out for that wild card. And that is the New York Jets is my wild card. I just don't, I think they're going to be better than what people think. And believe it or not, I also think the Chargers are going to be pretty good. But it's hard for me to take them serious because people have been waiting on the Chargers for the longest. But they, got they do got Harbaugh coach. now. And Harbaugh going to coach them boys up. And so in the AFC North last year, Three teams made the yeah, playoffs. That's not going to happen this Baltimore, year. Baltimore, mm-hmm. Cleveland, mm-hmm. and yeah. Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. And Cleveland made it because of Flacco. Right. But three teams came out yeah. of the north. Yeah, Cleveland won't make it this year. I just don't see. The strength see... of our division. Oh, yeah, the division is definitely tough. I think that Deshaun Watson by far makes Cleveland the worst team. I know people might say, are oh, you hating on them? No, that's because you speak the truth about somebody that's not hating. I am a big Deshaun Watson fan. Tell the truth. But I'm, that's what's right. It's called tell the truth. Until I see him turn it around, then I'm not going to make a prediction hoping that he turns it around. Like he, I got to see it. Understood. And I have seen him just resent. So I got Cleveland, no matter what happening, coming in last place. Because no matter what happened with Pittsburgh, I know that Tomlin is going to coach them up to the point that they're right. not going to look like trash. You might catch them early in the season when Tomlin try to make some adjustment. If you're going to get Pittsburgh, usually you got to get them early. The longer Tomlin has that team throughout the season, Pittsburgh is one of them teams that gets better throughout the season. Yeah, but we got Murder Road in them last seven games. That's true. But I'm just saying, and that right. I think y'all are going to have a chance to get out to a good start. But I do have y'all nine wins, not making it to the playoff, only because I think – the Jets might be to sneak out ten wins, and 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 the Chargers, Chargers might be to sneak out ten wins. Now, if you guys get to ten wins, you're getting in, but I don't think you're gonna be able to get in with ten wins because your division is so they all gone tough. You know what I mean? So, but Bowtie Bill, uh, you had any last words you want to say about the ALC North preview and the Pittsburgh Steelers preview? Man, it's a it's the toughest division in all of <laughs> NFL football. He ain't letting that go. <laughs> I'm not. Both time Bill, man. Get us on out of here, man. Good to right, man. We Fam, we thank you for everything that you're doing. <laughs> you know, continue telling everybody about our uh, podcast, Tell the Truth Podcast, Tell the Truth 23. Uh, tell everybody that you know the ones you like as well as the ones you don't like. You know, continue to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment, and everything. And we just appreciate everything that you're doing, fam. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Well, I'm your host, man. Shy Town Neil. Like my said, it's my whole top. Shy host. God. Shy God. Anyway, <laughs> and my boy to the left, man. BTB, man. Talk you guys me. know, tell the truth, podcast 23. Tell a friend, tell a friend, describe, comment. Let us know who you think going to win the AFC North, who you think is the wild card, the factor. Man, just make some comments. Let, let's see some good debates in the comments areas, man. We about to get out of here, man. Bowtie Bill, we out of here, baby. Thank you, baby. All right. Peace. Peace.